just can't imagine. There's no describing it. On this Father's Day, a veteran relives his honor flight, one he shared with his son. A dad and son pair went on a trip of a lifetime. Good evening, everybody. I'm Jennifer Hoff. A flight to D.C. and back can mean so much more for a military family. News 3's Danica Lewis brings us that story tonight. Danica. And it was certainly a pleasure meeting this father-son pair. They live 200 yards from one another, but traveling 1,700 miles, that's a trip that'll bring you together, especially when you're not just hanging out with dad, but helping to honor what he did for this country. On a sunny Wisconsin dad's day, showing off short horns is a family affair. Thank you for, for being here and judging and being with the Sun Father's Day. You might think this is as American as it'll get at the Lodi Fairgrounds. Think again. This is me uh, shortly after the war is over. World War II, that is, and the young man is Ken Johnson. We had the draft then. And I have two brothers, I had two brothers, and I knew one of us was going to wind up in the service, and I thought it better be me. Now nearly 98, Johnson was in his mid-20s when he enlisted in the Air Force. I did a lot of flying, but not in combat. Decades later, he was the 1,000th passenger to board another kind of flight, this one in honor of his service. It really was a once in a lifetime experience. Son Eric joined his dad in DC, but for both of them, it was the homecoming Ken never got returning from war that made the trip so worth it. I'll just never forget it. The place was packed. I bet there was 2,000 people in there to see us come home. They were given the hero treatment that they deserved, and, and many of them didn't get when they returned from their service. On this Father's Day, Grandpa. gratitude comes from future generations. Anyone that has an opportunity to become a grandparent will know that grandchildren are the greatest gift that you could ever receive. But there's something about that father-son bond, something made stronger in flight. It's one of those once-in-a-lifetime memories that we'll both keep forever. Now, Ken Johnson fought in the same B-17 on 126 combat missions during World War II. One of the few planes of its kind to survive that time overseas, actually bringing the same men back to America. He and Eric took that honor flight trip last month. The organization is getting Ken in the same type of plane he flew during his Air Force days later this summer. So what another cool experience thanks to that organization. A well, big thanks to Ken for his service as well. Absolutely. He looks great for 98. No kidding. And his stories were just spectacular. If you ever get to sit down with a vet, do it, do it now. It's, it's an awesome experience. Good advice. Thanks for sharing that, Dan. Absolutely. And Badger Honor Flight provides these opportunities at no cost to the veterans. The program is now accepting Korean War vets, which is stretching the waiting list to the max. We now have over 400 Korean War vets waiting to fly, and we have over 80 World War II vets. So we've, we've gone over 500 in our waiting list. Our flight relies solely on your donations. To find out how you can help send these veterans to our nation's capital, just head to badgerhonorflight.org.